All right, so we wiped out a group of turtles. Is there anything in this area? Any items? What's this? A fish rack. Yes. Grab me fish. What's this? A basket. I did not want to pick that up. I did not want to do that. Drop that basket immediately. How do you drop it? Drop it. I get the feeling I have way too many items. I'm going to have to drop a ton. Oh, there's a bat. Didn't I have another basket right there? Oh, shit. Look at this. A fucking basket. What do I want that for? Drop. I don't need another bedroll. Drop the... I don't need two bedrolls. Use? I used the bedroll by accident. I wanted to drop it. <clears throat> Look at all this shit. Threadbare pants. A sticky letter. This is disgusting. Anyway. Romy Road just did a 50-bit cheer. says, are you playing the Outriders? No. Outriders is once again another freaking cooperative game. Oh, God. Where does this go? Oh, shit. This goes to... What appears to be a sh the shipwreck? Yeah. This is where... Oh, God. There's enemies on this. Uh, I don't know if I, how I feel about this. There's a fight going on over there. We're going to have to go check out and see what it is. Anyway. um, I should sell again. Sell again. Save again. Um, I've heard that Outriders is basically so, like a, another like four-player cooperative uh, team survival game or whatever. <sighs> I also heard it runs at only 30 frames. So. Alright, um. I think we're gonna check this out. I'll purge your missile, your pointy eared witch. The group of magisters circle an elf, weapons drawn. The hound barks to draw their attention. Huh. Sir, we've got company. Ah. Planning an ambush with this scion, will you? Raise your hands is none of your business. Lie, you just hope to find some salvage. Nod towards the cornered elf. This was hardly an ambush. All were to subdue their prisoner for safe passage off the island. <laughs> Let's lie. I was just looking for some salvage, bro. Just another parasite, then. We'll huh. get to you once the witch is dealt with. I tell you, I am no witch. Diana. Spores do this. If I do not find the rest. Spores? Store the elven hedge magic. Weren't much use when we flooded your forest with death fog, were it? Lucian said it was a necessary evil. Me? Hmm. I was just sorry we didn't get the lot of you. You. I try to give you a chance. More than your divine order give mine. Oh, sir. Her armor. The scion twitches in sudden rage. And her armor uncoils, as if made of living vines. Whoa. No more chances. Oh, shit. Who is this? This is a badass. I've got a new stick for you to chew on. Some badass. We're going to try to help this person. Here's the crippling blow. Okay, here we are. What do we want to do here? So this guy, Magister Ilwin, magic and, and physical armor, but way less physical armor. Contaminated Magister. All right, he's got full health. And then we've got this lizard, Magister Swinton. Hmm. Maybe I want to use my combo, my combo uh, arrow. It'll probably hit multiple people here, I think. Ricochet? If I hit him with the ricochet, it should ricochet over to him, I think. Let's try this. Oh, I hit all three. Well, that was exceptionally good. No complaints from me here. That was a good one. Okay. And I have the ability to fire again. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there was a... I didn't see the dog. Ah, shit. I totally didn't see the dog. That's my fault. So I'm using her next. If I even move her a single step, she gets bit by the dog. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Who is this idiot? You got a fucking spammer? All right. Fuck this guy. He sent 10 messages. They're all the same message. I'm an idiot. That's what he posted in the stream chat 10 times. I'm an idiot. We don't need to know about that. Okay, let's continue. So, how is this person doing? 
who were trying to help. Fine. Could we possibly do rain and ice? I don't know if we could do both. I think we could do one, but I don't know if we can do both. It depends on the AP use, I guess. Rain is one, and ice is three. But it depends on the range. This is only 10 meters. Oh, no, we could do it. I could cast it. And then I could cast ice, and I think it'll hit everyone, right? I think so. So I'm going to do it. Okay. So everyone's wet. And now I can use the ice spell, right? I probably want to cast it here. I'm hoping I can hit at least two. I think I can hit these two. If I put it here, I don't know if it would hit all three. I don't know. I don't have enough uh, experience in the game. I don't understand this. Yeah, I really would like to hit all three, but I don't think it would. I think if I do this, it's only going to hit the main one. If I do this, it'll hit at least two, right? So I guess we'll try to do the double. The double hit. See how this works. Alright, I have no idea. Instead of focusing on the game, people in the fucking stream chat are talking about viewers and shit. Like, I care about how many viewers are on the stream. I don't. So I don't know why people are wasting their time talking about dumb shit like that. <laughs> So, I can't reach the destination. The furthest he can walk is here. So, you know what? We should just attack. We should kill this hound if we can. Damn, it's got 24 armor and 46 health. What the fuck? Why has it got so much goddamn health? Oh, this sucks. This hound is annoying. Because he can't get anywhere close enough to do anything effective to them. He just can't. Um, there's no way to go higher up. I was going to think maybe Beast during his strength can go higher up. I don't think there's any way you can climb up there. Right? Not that I can see. Uh, the only thing I can think of is just fortify and then head forward and try to, to knock the... I can't knock the Hound down. I can't deal 24 damage. I also don't have an aggro move, which really sucks. I wish I had a move that aggroed, but I don't have one. Go fortify himself. And then maybe just walk behind and then hit him from behind. I need more than one AP to hit the Hound. You're serious. <laughs> How many fucking AP do you need to, to do a regular attack? 20? Well, there's no way I'm going to hit just the Hound. If I do this, I'm going to end up hitting my party. So the tank sucks. The tank seriously is terrible because he has terrible movement. He has no thing to aggro. He has nothing to pull the aggro from anyone. He has the most health and giant armor, but he can't aggro anyone, so everyone can just ignore him and he's worthless. I have no way to pull aggro in this game, right? At least now, none of his abilities pull aggro. So he's worthless now. He just stands here and does nothing. He can't do anything effective. Great. So now it is... Fane's turn. I don't know how effective his range is. Let's take a look. 15. He's a very good range. Searing daggers, fossil strike, ignition. What are his other moves? Could we taught him more than this? Right? What the fuck is this? What's going on? Sneak. I'm not trying to sneak. I'm trying to see. He has more than one hotbar, doesn't he? There we go. Here's the other ability. So he's got peace of mind. Increases strength, finesse, and intelligence by one, and wits by two. Haste. I should probably put haste on someone. I think that's what I want to do, but I don't know who I should put it on. <clears throat> oh, yeah, people... 
I'm being told there's going to be new skills before long that's going to be much better than everything we're doing here. Should I cast haste on him, on Red Prince, so that way he can actually move and do shit? I know I'm going to put haste on him. So he's been hasted. It didn't seem like it affected move order at all, which sucks. Um, peace of mind. Probably don't want that. Oops. Play dead now. Ignition set burning. Resisted by magic armor. Fossil strike. Or searing dead. Let's do fossil strike. It can hit all three of them. If I target it properly, it should hit all all three of them. See that? Like right there. Alright, let's do it. Slowed. It slowed everyone, basically. So, how are they doing, like, stats-wise? We've barely put a chink in any of their armor. We've hit them with multiple attacks and we've done, like, nothing effective. Psst. It's bad. The only thing you can do is play dead, which does what? Ignition only casts one. Full enemy is the thing you're dead. Cooldown and skills will be paused. Any action you take will cancel this. Nah. Improvised wand. Can I do that? What's going on? Oh, I guess my turn ended? I don't even know why. Alright, back to Beast. See, Beast cannot come up here. I wish he could, because then he'd have the high ground. He could just shoot down, but he can't. <clears throat> okay. So, let's see. Where am I? We haven't even attacked the Hound once. See, if I move him, which I want to do, then he wastes his MP and he can't use any good attacks. This one is one, this one is one, this one is two, this one is three. Pin down. So I want to move him slightly away so that he's not grouped in with everyone else. But it costs, look at this, to move like an inch it costs two. What the fuck? Alright, fuck this. Petrifying touch. For the stupid dog. Prepare yourself. I petrified it. Good. Now it can't move, and we, I can move out of its range, and it can't shoot me. Which is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get out of its range. And then... Do a, a first aid? To who? Who needs it? Oh, it can't. There's no point in using it on myself yet. Contaminated Magister. And I don't have enough AP to attack, so I guess that's my turn. Yeah, I guess so. That's my turn. Great. <laughs> Good, the dog's petrified. He can't do shit. Good. Now, of course, the rain ended. What I wanted to do is go over here and electrify them, but the rain ended. They took out... Diana? Oh, no, she's just knocked down. She's not dead. She's knocked down. Okay. Because I want to do Chain Lightning. Go reach. Can I reach her? I can reach everybody here. Path is interrupted. So if I hit with lightning, I wonder if it'll chain. I guess we're gonna just try and see what happens. Nope. Locked by magic armor. Of course it is. Still, wow, slow. The oil was great. Look how slow he is. But he still runs all the way over here anyway. Notice how he can run across the entire map. And had enough AP to do that. You noticed that, right? 
Okay, so here's my tank. Now the question is, what do I want to do? The Magister kind of put him in a bad position, put himself in a very bad position here, I feel. Because maybe I could do a stomp. Would it hit both? If I could hit both the dog and him, that would be great, but I don't think, I think it's gonna only hit one or the other. But I think I'm gonna try it. Unless I take one step back. So if I like step right here with one AP. And of course he gets an attack of opportunity because it's a stupid piece of shit. Okay. Now I do the stomp. And it should hit them both cleanly. Yes. Okay. Boom. Blocked by physical armor. Because they have insane armor that we don't. They have 30, 40 fucking armor every turn that we don't have. Now also I can either do this. Which should combo, or I could do flame. I think I should do flame. Okay, he's burning now because the magic armor is gone. See that? Dude, I have enough. I could do a, a shield attack as well. So I can do like a crazy uh, uh, three moves here in one turn, which is very good. And it comboed. So that guy has no armor left. Okay, it's Lo Lozi's turn. And... Oh, no, it's not. What am I talking about? It's Fane's turn. And I can use both fire abilities, I guess. Let's see here. Seething daggers? How does this work? It's a small area of effect. So it would hit them both. I mean, they're already burning, so I'm not exactly sure that this is a good idea. Right? They're already on fire. Uh. <laughs> it's the same thing. This is just around you, right? So maybe I'll just do normal attacks, because it doesn't seem like this is going to be any good, right? It seems like what I should just do is just wail on them with normal attacks. He's still got physical. Doesn't matter, though, because this will be a magic attack. What about this guy? This guy is... Okay. Let's just attack him and see what happens. Okay, five damage and a bonus hit. And just attack him again. The bonus hit of the fire. Okay. The elf got back up. The fortify is helping the elf, but the elf is losing... Oh, my God. The elf is about to die. <laughs> the elf is about to die, literally. Um... I wish I could heal the elf, but I have such low AP. I think I can heal the elf. I think if I walk up here, and then I can heal it. I'm gonna try. Alright, heal. Nice. Got a little bit of health back, at least. Miss! Well, that was useful. Okay. She's got, like, no... <laughs> Nothing left but encourage. So I guess I'm just gonna use standard magic attacks on these fuckers. How much does it take? Two? It takes two to get it? I wanna do a double attack. Ooh. What the hell just happened? No! I don't wanna fucking walk her into the fire. Why would it even do that? I had I had the targeting on the guy. I wanted to attack. Instead, it makes her walk into the fucking flames. What the fuck? The controls are so fucking stupid. Really, I mean that. They're dumb. Obviously, I don't want to walk her into the fire. The targeting was still on the enemy. Click it again for a double attack. No, she walks into the fire instead. Fucking idiotic game. God damn it, it's so stupid. Now we're blinded. Blinding Radiance. Alright. So the first thing I'm going to do... I'm going to use this to fortify myself. Shields up. Alright. Now, I either want to attack the dog from behind or him, but they're probably not going to let me attack him. I almost guarantee you they're not going to let me. They're going to say, you're out of AP. AP. 
They let me attack him. I can't believe it. Okay. Look how clustered and messy this shit is. Like, seriously, like, other RPGs, I can generally tell what's going on. In this one, everything is so clustered and messy. It's hard to tell what's going on on the screen. There's too much shit in a little area. I hate this. I really do. Why am I hunched over? I have no idea why I'm hunched over like this. Um. Sadly, I don't think he can. Re I don't think he can reach to help here. Nah, if he even if he wanted to, he can't reach to help. So I'm just gonna try to hurt the people in front of me. I guess I don't know what else to do here unless I just do a reg regular attack. All right, killed Magister Elwin. He's dead. Fuck off. The dog's about to die. She blinded him, and she's moving now. Smart. Well, they just killed her, and we didn't get to save her. Great. Great! And by the way, he's gonna get fucked up now. Yeah, he's gonna get completely fucked up. This sucks. Seriously, like, this doesn't... By the way, the people who are helping me aren't really here anymore and aren't helping. They left during the break, and I don't know how I could have done this any better. I did my best, but no my characters can move and attack. If they move, they've used all their AP and can't really attack. They just, they, it's like everyone just sucks ass. My entire party sucks. All of them. These characters are insane. Look at the amount of armor on them. They had like 50 armor of health and defense. 50. How was I supposed to do anything effective against these fucking people? I didn't have a chance. I had no chance to do anything to help. The hound died of flames. Okay. So what I should do... I want to get her out of the fire, obviously. Because I didn't fucking intend for her to be in the fire to begin with. The game just fucking did it. Because it's stupid. So get out of the fire. That's step one. All right, step two... ...is to freeze these fucks again. Yeah. Ugh. How many AP is this? Two. So I could have him walk up and then toss the shield. Which is what I want. Look at the armor rating. This is ridiculous. 46? So he has four AP points. I want to burn these fuckers. But I need to get close enough, and I'm not close enough. If I walk... They're going to have me walk right the fuck into the flames and light myself on fire. This is so stupid. This should hit them, I think. I mean, if the range is correct, it's on her foot and it's on him. It should hit them. If it doesn't, it's bullshit. It did hit them. Good. At least it was it was fucking fair and realistic. Now, can I ignite this with uh with my ability, ignition? Oh no, it's a uh, searing dagger. Excuse me. Yeah, I should be able to light this on fire, and hopefully the fire will light them up. Will it let me? Yes. Oh, I only hit one. Well, the other one will have to walk through that to hit me, actually. Wait, why is he on fire? He's nowhere near the explosion he's on fire? Or is it because he... Maybe it's because he walked through the fire over here, actually. All right, that's actually not as bad as I thought. So let's see, what do I got? Two? No, this one's three. This one's two. Problem is, they both have physical armor, so it doesn't matter who I hit with this, they, they're not going to take damage. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do. They're not going to take any damage from it. Uh, 
No. Hopefully they'll hit my tank. That's what I want. Hit the tank. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. So finally something went right. <laughs> Majin Buu said, this is why in the game you want to focus your party on either physical armor or magic damage. If you split them, you ruin you run into this problem where you can't deal with both. Where am I? Is there, there, this is her. Okay, so now I can either heal... Or I can use attacks. I think I want to use attacks because the magic armor has been worn off on both of them. So maybe electricity... How much does the electricity take? Two. Okay. Yeah. Shock. Cool. And then just do a regular attack. What? Not enough AP. What? How do I not have Oh wait a minute, I didn't select it. This is the regular attack right here. My bad. I didn't I didn't select it. Okay. So it did a combo, but we're okay. We didn't die or anything, we're still okay. All right, so now I have two things I could, I could fortify, and then I can use my flame, and then I can even attack. This is good. So physical armor, let's do it, fortify. This will put out the fire on me, I believe. Nice. Yeah, this is actually good. Now we can use dragon breath right on them. It should hit them full. And I even have enough AP to attack again if I want. Cool. Now, sadly, Fane can't do diddly dick right now, right? All he can do is blow up around his body. He has no abilities to do anything from range now. Besides play dead, which is worthless at this point. So he can't really do anything. I guess walk over here, right? And he can't attack from a distance. He doesn't have like a ranged attack, see? So he can't really do anything. This, this I believe, only goes around his own body, see? It's an explosion around his own body. So that's not going to help. Try using his scrolls? I mean, I could, but do I want to waste scrolls? Oh, wait a minute. I'm so stupid. I have these. We can do cast haste. Who do we want to cast haste on? Where did beast go? Oh, he's over here. Beast uh, is not up next. However, if I cast haste on him, maybe he will be up next? They won't let me. Oh, yeah, here we go. Haste. No, it didn't work. I thought maybe it would give him something that useful. Nope. Alright, then you know what? Just cast peace of mind on himself. Or can you cast it on other people? Oh, I thought he could only cast it on himself. Career mind which strength, finesse, intelligence, and wits by one removes blinded, terrified, charm, taunted, sleeping, and reason mad. Yeah, I thought that okay. I actually thought that was only for him, but it's not. Okay. Alright, so I get to attack again, and it looks like maybe I can finish some of them? Maybe. So I guess what I should do... How many? I have 4 AP. If I want to do shield up, it's 2. This is 2, and this is 2. Oh, damage is based on the physical armor of your shield, so... Let's do this. I might actually win this fight, although the person died a long time ago. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do that shield uh, the shield attack because this one they're not gonna fall down because they both have the armor Okay Wow, he couldn't do anything he tried to get over here and he couldn't do shit. Well, that was fortuitous This guy still has physical armor after all that time. He still has it 
So I say, f just fucking shoot this guy. No, I don't want to do that. I want to attack him. Oh my god, just kill him. Okay, finished him. I have two AP left. Stupid fucking game. Just attack this guy too. All right. Oh, he's pissed. Is he going after Fane? He went after Fane, or she went after Fane. It's a female lizard, right? Went after Fane. So it's an attack of opportunity. I can't move. So instead, maybe I'll just do this twice. Stop a Magus twice. I'm ready. This might actually be... Oh, I, I've... Oh, hold on. I did it! So the good news is, I won the fight. The bad news is, the person I was trying to save is dead. Yeah. So at least I won the fight. Timbo Slice Trees said, what's for dinner? I'm having your famous frozen lasagna you told me about. Homemade triple cheese garlic bread. Oh, wow. Uh, I think we're just going to go out and grab something because we originally... Oh, shit. A contamination armor set. Two pieces of a contamination armor set. The heart of contamination blossoms the complete set. Boosting the armor's level to 19. And I got the Elven Scion's arm. Oh, I won't have an elf who can eat that. Now let's grab all this armor. Yeah, I'm probably going to equip that. So some, some mission, Seed of Power. But yeah, normally... Normally we were going to, uh... Give that to Red Prince. I'm being told I should give that set to Red Prince. Okay. Normally we were going to cook, but one of our meals for this week, we forgot an ingredient. And... A plate. And so we have... We're one meal short, basically, for the week. Um... So... I think we're just going to go out and grab something fast today. I don't know... What?! Well, I just wasted a major healing potion that I did not want to use because somehow it opened up the fucking menu and used it. Oh my god. I hate the controls of this game. They are bad. I hate to say it, they are fucking bad. It didn't even ask, do you want to use this? It's like, oh, I just popped the fucking, pop the giant potion, right? Oh my god. That is complete shit. Potions are everywhere. I'll be fine. I haven't found any. I seriously haven't found any. <laughs> so, I don't know about that. Anyway. Alright, I guess what we're gonna do... People are recommending I put this armor onto Red Prince. Okay, Boots of Contamination. Well, it gives you poison resistance, but... It also gives you a Geomancer boost. And he has Geomancer, right? I think so. What was the other one? The pants? It is. Yup. Oh, it gives him bonus constitution. Oh, shit. Alright. He's looking weird because he's got different mismatched armors. How did he get up here? I didn't tell him to go up here. What is going on? What did I do this? I, <laughs> I didn't do any of this. Jesus Christ. Alright, we're all rested now. Now we save the game. And we should also hard... I'm just, Okay, it already, I can't hard save after. Jumbo says, I bet you're heading to McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich. Very doubtful. We very rarely go to McDonald's. I think in the last year we've gone once. So probably not. So is there anything to loot on this ship? A pew? Shipwreck's manifesto? I got it. I don't know what, that, what the point is. Parchment. Open the desk. An empty bottle. Where was the parchment? Pick up. A piece of parchment. Oh boy. I guess I want to write. Deck of cards? I already have a deck of cards. I think I found one already. <clears throat> Alright, I guess there's nothing else here. That was a tough fight, but... You know, I, we got some good items out of it. And I get the feeling, overall, we want to do we want to do all those fights that we've come across. Are you serious? He's going to do the long walk around here to go look in this crate. Look at this. Muddy mittens. Better than no mittens. Right? Muddy mittens. 
Yeah, two bonus physical armor. Put them on. Okay. Turtle dudes, I heard you killed turtles in this game earlier, and there's more in Mario tonight. No, we're not killing any turtles in Mario tonight. We already beat the story of it. But um, there were some big, like, lightning-charged mutant turtles that we fought in this and killed. That is correct. Spartan King Cheese says, do you dread grocery shopping? Are you drained by the time you get home with the groceries? No. The only thing I dread grocery shopping is being at risk. Because, I hate to say it, when I go grocery shopping, it's actually the most crowded of anywhere I go during the week. All other places I go, usually they're social distance and stuff. But grocery store, it's like no one cares. They go in there like it's normal. They don't give a fuck. Oh, now we're poisoned. They seriously don't give a fuck. They just go in there and do whatever. So, I don't like grocery shop. I want to get in and get out as fast as possible. Everywhere else, like, I go out with my wife. We go out, you know, to stores. We go to restaurants. We're fine. Everything's fine. Socially distanced and good. But for some odd reason, when it comes to grocery stores, people act like nothing different has ever happened. Even the most noble among us must occasionally dirty their claws. Oh my god, a giant chest! Gold and an oil flask. Okay. I mean, that wasn't anything too special. Okay. Alright, guys. So, 20 minutes left on the stream. Thank you for your supportive stream. Please, guys, if you want to see us hit the tips goal, please tip. Last moments to do so. Um, It would be great if we hit the tips goal today. But it's not looking very likely at this point. Alright? Hope you enjoyed the stream. Again, I'm just learning. That's why it's taking me so damn long to get through the game and the systems of the game, but I am trying to learn as quickly as I can. Swallowed too much seawater by the looks of A bloated corpse. Soggy diary. I stole a soggy diary. The shipwreck manifesto. It lists prisoners bound for Fort Joy. One of his name is circled with notes scribbled in the margin. Diana. Delve is in trouble, calls herself a scion, has some strange spores, angry when confiscated. Sending three samples back. For further research, two to Blackface, one to Arcs. Keeping the remaining two for Alexander. Hmm. Um, Timbo Slice Trees, and when in public, do you see Karens and they drive you nuts how rude they are? Not really, like I told you. Usually when I go out, everyone's socially distanced, you don't have any problems with anyone. And most people out here are fully wearing masks and don't have problems with it. They don't bother, you know, they realize the risk and they want to do the right thing. Sparring King Cheese, did you double or triple mask in public? I think that's what we're told to do now. No, you're not told to do anything. Basically, they can't even get everyone to single mask. Of course, they recommend, oh yeah, you can double mask and it'll reduce the, 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 uh, the risk. But no one's telling anyone to double or triple mask. I think they realize when you can't get people to single mask, they're not going to double or triple mask, so... Uh, first night here. Don't seem like it'll be too bad if I'm somewhere quiet to sleep. Before I know dry bread, the last thing when this blows over, I'm happy to say I survived in comfort. Who dumb brutes shoot me down for my bread? I'll do something smart if I want to eat. Brad's gone. The brutes took my net. Huh. That was a dumb diary. Can I just get rid of it now? When you have shit like that, do you sell it or can you dump it? Like, I don't know if this soggy diary will have any, any value, right? Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, okay. More stuff. Tattered shoes. Crafty weaponry bows. Oh. Cra learn how to craft bows. Locked. Okay. I can't... Wait a minute. Don't I have a lockpick? What the fuck? I, I thought I had a lockpick. Can I give this to him and have him lockpick it? I'm doing it. Thievery level is too low. So let me get this straight. I had to... I seriously had... To... Equip the lockpick. Then I had to go through a timed bar that filled... Just to tell me you don't have the stats to open this chest anyway. Some people are saying try using Fane. It might work with Fane. Nope. Locked. It doesn't work. P. 
pick the lock. Thievery level too low. Doesn't work. That's so stupid. Have you ever been in an RPG where it makes you wait for the meter to fill and then it tells you you can't do it anyway? I've never seen that before. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Not once. Oh, we never, apparently we never finished uh, leveling him. Oh yeah, I never used it. Thievery? I used to try it. We'll try it. I also didn't put. I didn't use his talent point. We, we gotta use his talent point. I forgot to fucking equip it. It's probably gonna tell me it's also too low. Okay, unlocked using your bony fingers. A rain scroll, a gold, and a toy crossbow. Isn't that what I already have? Did I seriously just get the same fucking items that I already have? I already have the toy crossbow, right? <laughs> I'm almost positive this is what, what he has. Wait, what just happened? I obviously didn't want to do that, you fucking stupid thing. He already has it. This will, okay, it does slightly more damage. It looks to me it does seven to eight. Okay, seven to eight damage. The other one did six to seven. And actually, this crossbow has, has, no, has the same range. So insanely slightly more damage. Okay. Uh, Angel Devilish, thanks for the cheer. Timple Slice Tree said, do you think these type of games transition over well from PC to game systems? That's tough, actually, to say. Um, you can obviously tell that if I were to point and click rather than use the selection method I'm using to do this stuff, it would probably be much easier to do. Um, I'm having issues misclicking and doing things I'm not intending because I'm using a, th a gamepad instead of a point and click system. So I think that it translates. I mean, I, it's fine. Just that it lends itself to have more vulnerability to issues. Like, accidentally doing shit I don't want to do. Obviously, I don't want to to do some of the stuff I'm doing. So. Whisper Wood. Whisper Wood. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. I believe I just received a tip. I just want to check on it to see if it's real or not. Alright, so let me take a look. I might have gotten a tip. Let's see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I received a $47,000 tip. No, no. I received a $30 tip from Rusty Shackelford, who says the Divinity playthrough is, is fucking good. It woke me for my hibernation. Keep this up, by the way. My Oh, and then he gave me a code phrase, so I know that it's him moving forward. Good. Okay. Thank you to Rusty Shackelford. Because of that, we've hit the tips goal. With 15 minutes to spare. So, in a very, very brief manner, we need to now do a poll for a vest, and I'm only going to be wearing it for, like, 10 minutes. Thank you, Rusty, for the support. Let us set up the poll right now, quickly. Okay. Beige, blue, red, gray, camo are all eligible. There you go. Two minutes to vote on that one. Short pull so that way we can get maximum vestige. Alright. Okay, thank you, Rusty. It's good to see you. Yeah, he says he's come back. You know, we haven't seen him in a while. Thank you very much, Rusty. Welcome back to the streams. And yes, I'm going to be doing this at least twice a week, major streams. As you can see, making almost no progress at all. But I guess that's better than, than actual no progress at all. Okay. So let's save. And it looks like that's it. It looks like that's all that's down there, right? I just want to be sure I didn't miss anything, right? There's nothing else down here. <clears throat> okay. I walked in oil and now I can't move. 
That was the ship. And then that was it. I think that's it, right? Okay. That was a tough fight at the ship. I don't know what would happen if we had saved the elf. But it doesn't matter now. And we got armor out of it anyway, so fuck it, I guess. <laughs> fuck it all. Alright, but now, sadly, we gotta walk through this fucking poison to get out of here, right? There's no way to get down without walking into poison. <clears throat> okay. People are voting on the vest right now. Thank you to you guys who helped me with this. Uh, they didn't come because they're stupid. Yeah, they're really dumb. He's like, oh, I'm not walking through that. Yes, you are. You're doing what I tell you. What just happened? <laughs> what is going on? Dude, um, watch this. Down and X. Why the fuck did he keep going up and down and up and down and all around, you fucking idiot? God damn. Get out of the poison, stupid. Jesus. <laughs> okay. So I think this area is now cleared. I think we did everything here, right? You can't go down here. So we got Fane. We got a lot of shit since we came over here. All right, Camo Vest has won. Let me go grab the Camo Vest quickly. What's up, Light Sight? Hank, good to see you. He says, hot damn. <laughs> hot damn. It's seriously, like, it's impossible to imagine this not being a 100-hour playthrough because the game is so slow-moving. Even every fight takes so long and it's so difficult that I can't imagine. I can't imagine that, you know, this wouldn't be an insanely long playthrough. Wait, what was that? Oh, empty crate. Hello, Rowdy Bag. All right, is there anything else to do out here? As we're investigating, we, didn't, we never went all the way this way, did we? I've spotted something. Oh, a new dirt pile. Yeah, look at that. Looks like a grave. Huh? A zombie? It's a fucking zombie. <laughs> okay, I certainly wasn't expecting that. That's the last thing I was expecting to pop up here. Okay, we'll fight a quick zombie fight. Uh, let's petrify him. We petrified him. Now, I'm curious about this. We were saying healing hurts the undead. Would this actually hurt the zombie if we hit him with this? Right? I think I should try it. I'm gonna dabble with it. It did! It took a giant chunk. Oh my god. It completely rocked him. In one turn, I killed the zombie. That was sick. Loot the corpse. Nothing on it. It was just a surprise fight. That was cool. Petrify, heal to damage, and fucking kill it. All in one turn. Alright, quick save. That was pleasing. That was a pleasing fight. <laughs> I, I destroyed it instantly. So, people were saying that there's actually alligators you can fight or something. I don't know where the fuck they are, though. We're heading back now, right? Oh, what's this? Die by the sword? Apparently something... Apparently there's stuff here I never found. Let me read these books. What is this thing? Sahela's Crest? Twig with a string. This is crafting. I guess you can craft uh, different weapons and stuff if you find the right components. Recipes. 
Improvised staff. Oh, they're showing you all the stuff you know how to do. See this? Twig with a string. I need a bow string and a short stick. How to make potions. Arrows. Armor. Dwarven mask of the shapeshifter. Look at all these different shapeshifter uh, things. Okay. That's cool. I need to go southwest from the town, but I'm going northwest. So, go this way is what you're saying. Near the water here. But I've already been over here. Usually I have to go through the town. I have to go through the town and then hit up the water to the southwest is what you're saying. Tony Maverick says this is a good game, but not stream worthy at all. As I've told you guys... If this is going to work as a playthrough, this cannot be like a standard playthrough of mine. This has to be like, you guys have to understand it's going to be completely interactive. You're going to have to help me a ton because I never played a game like this before. And it's going to be incredibly slow paced and you have to be okay with that. I'm okay with playing this over the course of this year if you guys will be patient and have fun with me just chilling while I play the game. But you have to understand that like it's not going to be an action packed playthrough. It's not a fast-paced game. It's also not a game I know anything about. So it's going to be me just trying to flub it and learn on the fly. You're, I'm going to need a lot of input from the viewership when it comes to these, these builds and the characters. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. That's just has to be accepted. And if you can't accept that, I don't know what to tell you guys. Now, the problem here is Fane is go supposedly going to get attacked by humans because he's undead, right? So I can't go in town. So what the fuck do I do? Can I go around town? I don't think so. I don't think there's a way to go around the town and avoid people attacking him. So I don't know what to do. Be the Colonel Cheers as this Resident Evil Village is coming out. Any chance of going back to Resident Evil 7 on harder difficulty? Refresh yourself for Village. People already asked this, and I said if there is extra time, say in April or something, maybe I'll do it, but I'm not guaranteeing it. <clears throat> if he's wearing a helmet, he's fine. He doesn't have he doesn't have a helmet. He's wearing his hood though. So does that count? He's not attacked if he's wearing headgear. According to this, he's wearing his hood. So I guess we're okay then. I hope so. I hope we don't get fucking attacked here. I guess we're about to find out. Should do a save. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's okay. No one's attacking him. So. This is town, but I have no idea how to get out of here and go to this beach that people are talking about. At all. Go west? North. No, now I'm going east. West would be this way. How do I leave camp to the west? If vendors have skills like Phoenix and I picked them up, I don't know anything about what vendors are even there. I don't even think I knew that there was a vendor. Oh, there's Sibyl with the items that she didn't give me back. Okay. Uh, we might be coming up on stuff here. People out on the beach. Margo. Did we the talk to them already? Out on the gently lapping waves. She seems totally at peace, but as you approach, she turns to you with a cheerful smile. I haven't seen you around here before. New? I'll see you tonight, Green Dog. Tonight's late stream is going to be good. I'll talk to you guys about it in a moment because we're about to adjourn. Till you just arrived, so it feels like you've been here for years. Suggest so you mind your own business. Are you interested in trade? Well, most certainly. I brought my own share of knowledge with me from the get-go. No sense in keeping it all to myself. Uh, restoration skill book? How much do I have? 339. So, if you, it requires Hydrosophist. We already have this, though. Yeah, she already has it. So, there's no point in buying something I already have. But didn't I say I needed identifying glass? 
Yes, I need this, don't I? I bought that. Oh, I should buy the empty potion bottles, maybe. So I can craft potions? Maybe. I just arrived. Don't worry too much if you have a hard time settling in. Takes a while to get used to the place. You here alone? Falling in with a few travel mates. Uh, and I'll say she gives here. you a long look. Say the nice thing about the travel mates. You keep them friends of yours close, eh? Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Not much in this world someone you love can't make better. Thank you for the advice. Roll your eyes. Why is she here alone? It used to be I had a family. A husband and a little boy. We were healers. Source was in our blood. Then they brought us here. Hmm. I couldn't stop them from taking my boys from me when they did. No, they took everyone from her, huh? Cured. Maybe even released. Don't know why the Reds didn't take me, too. Now I'm just waiting for them to call my name. Waiting and remembering. What were your boys but like? Spot. Kind of you to ask. <laughs> Stefan. He was my little one. She, she talks to Stefan. Listen, she talks sometimes. Joy radiates from her as she remembers. <laughs> she places a warm hand on your shoulder. What a gift to think of them. I'd like to give something to you too. A family recipe. One of Felix's best. Hmm. He'd be happy to know it went to such a, a warm soul. Take care of yourself. It says I got a recipe? What did I get? Recipes, right? Uh, did I get a new recipe? I don't know. It says it was one of her favorite recipes, but I don't think I got anything. Unless it went to my inventory, but I don't think so. Journal? Margo. Oh, it saves all your dialogue. I didn't know that. That's interesting. It actually saves all the dialogue that you encounter. I don't know. I don't think I got any. I don't think I got a crafting recipe. I think the game's full of shit. This has to go over to what's her name? Lozy. She's the one who's going to be doing lore for us. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. She claimed I was going to get a, a, a recipe. I don't think I got one. Oh, you can combine here. Look at this. You can cook stuff. Yeah, look. Huh. You can cook stuff there at a cooking station. All right. I guess what we'll do is we'll save up. We're pretty much done for now. We're going to be playing this at least one to two times next week. I think two times. I have a schedule for two streams next week. Um, and here we are nine hours in, and I'm still basically in the intro area. You know, I thought I was leaving it last after last week, but no, there was no way I could have won that fight to get out of the intro area. So the good news is I did level up. I get the feeling if I continue on like this, maybe I'll level up another time. Maybe then I could finally be, be strong enough to take out the people down in that underground lair, the Houndmaster or whatever and get out. I hope you guys like the stream again. If you like this kind of game, you're probably laughing and enjoying because it's someone who has zero exposure to this. I've never played a game like this before. So it's really an outsider's take that there's things in here that are very frustrating. But the thing is, since I have the experience from things like the From Software titles where I hated them at first, and then once I understood it, it completely grew on me. I'm kind of giving this game a chance in that regard. But I'm still going to voice my frustrations when I have them if I feel that the game is frustrating in one way or another. Okay? So, next time around, we'll continue on. I see some blood over here. That's not a good sign. Next time around, we'll continue on. We'll see what I can find and go from there. Thank you guys who supported this stream. Thank you guys who helped me in particular on the stream because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Until next time, all right? Good stuff.